Hey everyone. Well, I'm finally back in the shop again. It's been a while since my last video and I do apologize for that. Um, today's project I'm doing a bolt action magnum pen kit and I'm going to be doing it out of antler. Uh, antler that I've actually got from a pet food supply store. It's actually a chew for the dogs but uh, I thought what the heck it'd be a good project to make a pen out of and I've seen other people doing videos on that so uh, I've been wanting to make one for a while. So uh, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Okay so let's get started on this pen. So the first thing I want to do is find a straight section in the antler which kind of looks like right about here. So I'm just going to mark it giving myself some room on both sides. and then take it to the bandsaw and cut it off. So before you start cutting this, please make sure you wear uh, eye protection and or a face mask because this stuff is pretty hard. And for the other side of it, so I can try and get a straight cut, I'm just using this bar or block of wood just to hold it into place. So I'm going to attempt drilling it by hand. I couldn't put it on my drill press because uh, I couldn't drill all the way through. So here goes nothing. There, that actually worked pretty good. So now I'm going to epoxy the tube in as opposed to using CA glue. I'll just give it a little bit better adhesion. And a little tip, save your uh, coffee stir sticks. They're plastic and when you're done with this you can just wipe it off with a paper towel and reuse them. And also make sure you scuff the, the tube up. Gives it a better bond too. Give it a twist when you're putting it in. That way you're getting an even coverage. Probably put a little bit too much on there, so just wipe off the excess. And then push it in just a little bit. Okay, so the epoxy is set and I'm going to use a barrel trimmer and just clean up the ends and I'm going to use the appropriate sleeve to fit the, the size of the tube. I'll just go until it's just flush. And I don't have this in very tight so I don't crack this in the vise.
Okay, so I've got it all set up on the lathe. Uh, I've got my speed set to 2200 RPM. Uh, everything is all tight. And I'm going to start with a bowl gouge and please remember to wear eye protection and a face shield. Here we go. sharpen my chisel twice now because this is quite tough so I'm just going to take a couple more light passes on here and just try and flatten this out chisel and see what I can do just to take a little bit off. There, that actually worked really well. Okay, now I'm going to sand it up. So I'm going to start with 150 and go to 320. feels real smooth. Okay, I'm going to put a couple coats of thick CA glue on here to seal it and then I'm going to sand it to about 400 and 600 grit.
So now I'm going to put several coats of a light CA glue on. So now I'm going to wet sand through the grits from 1,000 all the way up to 12,000. After I do the 12,000 grit, I like to put uh, some polishing compound on it and buff that in. Okay, now to put it all together. I think that looks really sharp. The copper on the antler. So I hope you like this video. Uh, this is actually a really fun project to do. Um, they don't take a lot of time to do and uh, being close to Christmas time these actually make really nice presents for people. Uh, I welcome any comments or questions uh, please feel free to do so. Um, also please share and subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate the support. Um, also, I have a Facebook page. You can find me on facebook.com slash wooden metal shop. So until next time, see you later.